We're here at Robert Fuller's Gallery in North Yorkshire. Robert is one of the country's leading wildlife artists and we're going to disturb him for a moment to take a look in at his studio which looks out across the Yorkshire Wolds. It's this landscape and the animals in it that inspires his work. Great patience is needed to put in the fine detail that Robert has become renowned for. I'm absolutely passionate about wildlife and uh, trying to capture the secret moments like this cuckoo uh, being raised by a reed warbler. Um, so I've, I've spotted a pair of cuckoos prospecting reed beds uh, looking for nests to lay its egg in. And uh, I eventually found a, a tiny little reed warbler's nest with a cuckoo's egg in and uh, kept an eye on it for a few weeks. And uh, this is the chick that hatched out um, a few weeks later. So I documented all this. And I'm now working on a series of paintings because everyone knows what a cuckoo sounds like. Uh, to be, but to watch one of these chicks being raised by uh, the surrogate parents frantically getting food for this rather oversized chick, it was a fascinating project. And I'm working now on a, several paintings documenting it uh, from when the cuckoo first arrives, cuckooing, um, to the chick actually fledging. And uh, this is before it heads back to Africa. Producing some of the pictures he has on show here can take months or even longer. I spend a lot of my time uh, out uh, photographing the wildlife and observing it in the field. And uh, here we've got some pictures of a, a barn owl hunting. I absolutely love watching barn owls hunting and it's just capturing that moment um, as they're going in to catch a vole that I was after on this day. And uh, I was out for quite a while and all of a sudden I saw it sort of turn and twist its wings and uh, managed to capture this photograph um, which this will make, make a painting one day, it's um, got a nice wing formation and uh, that's really what I was after that day but watching barn owls hunting on the wing is one of my favourite things uh, to witness and I'm just laying all my photographs out here in the order that I've take, taken them and I'm just sort of picking and choosing my favourite ones and uh, I look forward to painting these one day. Once Robert has decided on a pose, he will use the photo and transform it into a painting. Robert's gallery in Thixendale is open all year round and showcases his work. The gallery itself attracts up to 7,000 visitors a year. As well as his original paintings, visitors can see and buy limited edition prints and cards of his work, as well as fine bone china mugs made in Socon Trent that feature his illustrations. He also holds talks and special nature events for adults and children too. Visitors to the gallery love the detail and accuracy in his paintings, which have made him known as one of the best wildlife artists in the country.